Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit text and lines in your Google Docs resume template. Now, Google Docs are designed differently to Word documents and Mac Pages documents as Google Docs are constructed using tables rather than text boxes. Now, this means that the editing process will be slightly different and changes that you make within this structure will affect the rest of the structure in the document, okay? So just bear that in mind. If you'd like to see the table structure of a resume document, you simply just need to select anywhere in the document like so, and then navigate to table options, the table border, increase the width, and then you will see the structure there and you can manipulate that um, as you wish. I'm just gonna select undo. I always um, create my contact section in a table as well. So if you wanted to change that, you can have more control over it, over it by revealing the, the table box like so. But I'll remove that for now. Now, if you would like to start editing sections of the text, you can do so literally by highlighting parts of it and making changes like so you can change it to bold or italic like so or you can change the color if you wish you can change its alignment and you can change its font you can change its positioning like so but i'm gonna get it back to how it was before. Pressing Command C or Control Command C on your keyboard will be your friend when editing in Google Docs. If you have pre-written text from another document that you would like to add, then you can simply copy it and paste it into part of the template where you wish to add it. So I'm just gonna paste it here. Now, Google Docs will sometimes carry the previous style resulting in differences in the design. So if this, this is the case and you can simply select the text of the desired design that you'd like it to look like, select paint format, and then select your text and it will change it. Sometimes I notice that it doesn't doesn't copy the indentation or the line spacing. So to find that out and to, to mimic it, you can highlight the desired part of the design and head to here, which is line and paragraph spacing, and it will show you what it is. So it's 1.5. And then to find the indentation, you go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and it says here on the left it's 0 0.8. So we can select that. 0.8. And there we go. As a side note, I just like to make you aware that if you start adding too much bits of text that overspill, then you will start finding that the rest of the document um, design and structure will all go a bit skew if. So try to be aware of that and try to keep the text within the constraints of the template, like so. And lastly, I'd like to show you about the borders and lines within the document and how you can change those if you wish. Uh, here I've got these borders which are in pink. So if I'd like to change that, I just need to highlight the section where I wish to change it and then navigate to format, paragraph styles, borders and shading. And this one sits at the bottom and I can change it like so, I could change the width, I could change the padding, I could change the color. Select apply. Or if I wish to get rid of it entirely, I can unselect it like so. I quite like having it, quite like having it pink, but 
if I wanted to add other lines within the document, I can select sections of the table and go to, here we go, select the line. and then select the color here. So if I wanted that pink um, or red, if I don't want that to show, I can change that to white. So I can start playing around with that if I wish. But I don't want to do that, so undo, 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 undo. I just want to get rid of the table border entirely. And there we go. So to continue to manipulate your resume template, you can play around with the line and spacing even more if you wish, as I said before you go here for line and spacing but you, if there's a particular spacing style that you want you can increase that here oh. and that creates space at the top or create double god you could do whatever you like can create spaces after which pushes this section down bear in mind that will affect the rest of the template so I'm going to say undo if you want to increase the size of the bullet points you can do that by selecting them then increasing them like so spaces like that as well if you would like to remove or delete a whole page you can do that by selecting all of it select backspace and you'll be left with a blank page just keep selecting delete delete and then it will eventually go and there you have just the one page Lastly, if you would like to make changes, add or delete icons, you can do that. You do that by, you can select it. Um, if you want to change the size, select image options, size and rotation. I'd keep the lock aspect ratio so it keeps it the size cons the same increase like that or if you've got a specific size in mind you could do that as well you can also recolor it if you want which google dots gives you a select palette to work from however i provide you with icons in a set color if you want to change the positions, you can as well, like that. So with this resume, I also include other icons to choose from, which will be in your download. So just open up your folder and it will be under bonuses, icon pack. We have an icon sheet here, which has them all in or there's also the extra icons folder there. You can choose one that you like. So I'll choose, I don't know, let's go Instagram. You just copy, select somewhere in your resume, select paste, select 
select it and then select it in front of text and fix position on page then that way it won't affect the rest of the resume and I want that to be the same size of these so I'll select that one that one's just copy that and paste that into the new one and that will be the same as the others like so if you would like to change the picture that you have here you can do that too just select the picture or the image image options edit replace image navigate to a folder on your computer that you want to change it to you can also uh, change the border color or you can make get rid of it entirely if that's what you want go if you want to get rid of it completely that's fine you can insert a new image again change it to in front of text fixed position on page position as you wish if you want that to be within a circle frame like before we can do that too you can do that by going to insert drawing new select image and then let's make that smaller we then select this crop icon and shapes let's choose circle and there we go this will work best when the image you upload is a square uh, rather than a rectangle so bear that in mind and then we can add a border color increase the width go Again, in front of text, fix position on page, and then reduce the size. Okay, and done.